Welcome to The Astrology Show with your host, Kelly Fox. Each week, Kelly will give you access to the current transits that are a valuable tool which provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has through our sun sign. Understanding the current planetary influences each week can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. Sometimes, events in your life may seem completely random, but there is a pattern to the order of these events, one set in motion in part by you and in part by the planets and stars in the sky and their influence on your life here on Earth. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, if you're going to get that promotion, move to a new city, or fall in love, tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance. It can help you anticipate problems before they occur, give you tools to cope with changes, and help you look forward to the wonderful days ahead. Kelly Fox is a professional astrologer and internet pioneer who launched Astrology.com, one of the first and most successful astrology websites. Today, her passion lies with her new site, TheAstrologer.com, where she brings a modern-day approach to an ancient wisdom. Please join Kelly each week to learn more about how the planets can align for you. Hi there, and welcome to The Astrology Show. I'm your host and astrologer, Kelly Fox. I apologize for the little technical glitch we had, and it's not even Mercury retrograde. But anyway, on tonight's show, I'm going to bring you something very special. For each of the 12 signs, I am going to give you a summer forecast. And that means uh, looking ahead for June, July and August. Of course, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, then it's your winter forecast. So without much further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. And each of the 12 signs... I'm going to start with each of the months, June, July, August, and go through each sign, Aries through Pisces. So the good news is, if you're in Aries, well, Mars, your ruling planet, is already in your domestic sector. So what that means is if you're looking to move or renovate or make some uh, renovations or changes to where you live, now is the time to do it because Mars is the planet of action and June through mid-July is the time to make changes to your home environment. So if you're looking to move, get packing. Gather your supplies, your boxes, your tape, and anything else that's needed. And effortlessly, uh, things should fall into your lap if you're looking to move. And of course, we just had a full moon in Sagittarius. And so for everybody, it's a great time to travel or make travel plans, particularly uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, we like to travel during the summer months, and so this year is no exception. Also, we've just had Jupiter move direct at 13 degrees Libra, and so for you, Aries, that triggers your partnerships. So any partnerships, uh, business, romantic or otherwise, that might have been stalled, uh, now is the time for things to move forward uh, for you in your love life and if you are a single ram this is good news for you because uh, and you're looking to be coupled I should add uh, this is great news for you because uh, it's the time to get out there and network uh, you never know who you might come across uh, also uh, Aries uh, on the 20th the sun moves into your domestic sector where it will join Mars so this is also a uh, doubly good time for moving and focusing on the home, even family members. If there's any family member that you might have been quarrelling with, uh, now is the time to extend the olive branch. And the new moon on the 23rd of June is a great time for buying or selling property. Now, for you, Aries, in July, uh, here's a little bit of a warning for you. On the 2nd of July, Mars, your ruling planet, opposes powerful Pluto. So this is not a good time to challenge an authority figure. So if you take that at the end of June, beginning of July, uh, don't challenge authority. Just sort of go with the flow as best as you can. And you know, your symbol is the ram. You like to butt heads sometimes. Uh, early July is definitely not a time to do that. 
Um, the full moon on July 8th uh, could mark a turning point in your career. So pay attention to that date. Uh, of course, that means around the 2nd, if you haven't butted heads with authority, then go for it. Ask for the uh, promotion you might have, you might be seeking. Um, also, July 17th, your ruling planet Mars forms a challenging aspect to Uranus, the planet of the unexpected. So resist the temptation to make any out-of-the-blue changes, especially that if that's breaking off a secure relationship, uh, even if it does feel suffocating. Uh, and your ruling planet moves into your romance sector on July 20th. Uh, so this makes it a lot easier for you to enjoy quality time with your partner, if you have one. Otherwise, get out there and mix and mingle. So Aries for August, just to complete your summer forecast, um, rebellious Uranus goes retrograde uh, in your sign on August 2nd. Uh, so this is a time to shake things up. This is for everybody, but you more so because Uranus is in your sign. Uh, it's not a time to go with the status quo. Uh, but be careful because uh, Jupiter, excessive Jupiter, makes a square to Pluto on the 4th of August. Um, so you need to find a balance between sacrificing your personal life to professional demands at that time. And the big news of the season, of this summer season, is the lunar eclipse on the 7th uh, for you, Aries, might bring a successful end to a group project. Uh, and I might not even be surprised if you're named most valuable player, uh, even though you usually like to go solo, but this time uh, in August, a group project is the way to go. Oh, and just one more thing before I move on. On the 12th of August, Mercury goes retrograde and in your work sector. So be very careful around work projects uh, around August 12th uh, through the rest of August. You might find that you have to revise something and maybe even continuously. So you need to be patient and pace yourself carefully throughout August. Oh, oh one more thing. Before I move on, uh, August 21st, there's a solar eclipse. And so that marks an experience exciting beginning in your love life so there you have it so next we have taurus taurus the bull your summer forecast or if you're in the southern hemisphere your winter forecast so taurus for you let's see what have we got here uh june started off the summer season started off really well for you because venus your ruling planet formed a really nice aspect to saturn um, which could lead to an exciting work, work opportunity or even a new relationship if you're single. Uh, let me see here. Also, Venus uh, moved into your sign on June 6th, so that heightens your allure and strengthening your appeal, if there's even any more to strengthen, Taurus. Uh, so throughout June and through uh, July, you can twist anyone around your little finger so that's good news, which you usually can do anyway. Uh, but use your powers of persuasion to find love if you're looking, um, even attract a great new job, or even showcase your creative work. And the full moon that we just had um, is all about money. So Taurus is one of the signs of money, but this full moon really highlighted money and finances for you at this time. And then the new moon uh, on the 23rd of June, uh, it's a good time to increase your skills or take a course of study, something that improves your outlook. Oh, and finally for June on the 24th, the trine between Venus and Pluto signals excitement in your love life. So in July for Taurus, on the 4th of July, Venus, your ruling planet, uh, begins its tour of your earned income sector. So it's all about money for you in July. Um, you might even land a high-paying job if you're looking for something different. And then uh, Thoughtful Mercury, Planet of Communication, enters your domestic sector on the 5th, uh, prompting you to spend more quality time with your family. Oh, that's very sweet. And then the full moon on the 8th uh, could mark the end of a business trip or an extended vacation because, of course, we're in the season of vacation and summer. 
Uh, just be careful around July 17th, though, when Venus, your ruling planet, forms a challenging aspect to deceptive Neptune. Somebody might betray you or not be telling you the truth around July 17th, so just be aware of that. Uh, also, uh, Mars will move into your domestic sector on July 20th. It's a great time to focus on your home and family. Uh, and then on the 22nd, the sun moves there to join Mars, uh, which also makes it an exceptional time to redecorate, move or renovate. Uh, also throughout July, just ending the month off, um, just be careful around uh, the 24th when Venus uh, forms an opposition to Saturn, uh, which warns against irresponsible spending. Not that you would ever spend irresponsibly, Taurus. And finally, for you, Taurus, in August, uh, the lunar eclipse, which, of course, is the big news, the big news of the season and the big news of the year, um, the lunar eclipse on August 7th may mark the end of a job or public position. So uh, something's triggered around your work life with the eclipse on August 7th. Uh, and also uh, what's very nice is on the 11th of August, um, Venus forms a nice trine with dreamy Neptune, which is a great time for rest, relaxation, romance. Oh, everything's starting with after you. Uh, and, of course, Mercury turns retrograde uh, in your romance sector on August 12th, uh, which might prompt an old love to reconnect with you. Uh, or maybe uh, communication might go backwards uh, with your current partner. Just be aware of that throughout August. And then, of course, on the 15th, your ruling planet Venus makes a tense angle to Pluto and Jupiter on the 15th and 16th. So be very careful around your love life mid-August. And finally, uh, the solar eclipse on the 21st marks a new beginning on the home front. So that's very nice. If you're looking to expand your family, that's a great time to do that, Taurus. Moving right along to Gemini. Uh, so with you, Gemini, we are currently in your birthday month. So happy birthday to all you Geminis out there. Uh, so what do we have here for you? So we just had a full moon, actually, a full moon in your opposite sign, uh, which highlights partnership matters um, and partnerships demanding your attention uh, with that full moon that we just had. Did you see it up there in the sky? It was huge. Uh, also, during this month, June, uh, Jupiter turns or did just turn direct, uh, same time as the full moon a few days ago, and Jupiter turned direct in your romance sector. So this, uh, this turns up the heat in your love life, Gemini. So don't waste it. Get out there and make the most of it, uh, single or coupled. So don't be surprised, Gemini, when a committed partnership becomes more passionate uh, and of course if you're single you'll enjoy making the rounds of the dating scene so june around 20 on the 21st uh, mercury moves into your financial sector uh, so there could be some profitable deals there for you it's also a great time to sign some business contracts and then on the uh, 23rd with the new moon could put you on the path to a lucrative job if that's what you're looking for or an assignment that um, gives you some intellectual stimulation there. And because you're an air sign, Gemini, uh, you're an intellectual sign, and that's very important. So for you, Gemini, throughout July, uh, on the 4th, Venus begins its tour of your sign. So everybody will be drawn to you throughout July. Your personal magnetism will soar. Um, you'll attract love, luck, money, whatever you seek. Uh, and if you are seeking a relationship, you'll have your choice of admirers. And then Mercury, your ruling planet, enters your communication sector on the 5th of July. And so the intellectual stimulation at that time will be through the roof. And I know that's music to your ears. The full moon on the 8th of July may bring a financial windfall. Uh, inheritance, maybe an insurance refund or even legal settlement which will increase your economic security. Ah, that's nice. Something to look forward to. 
Uh, and then the new moon on the 23rd of July is ideal for getting involved with uh, some sort of community or uh, group fundraiser. Uh, so collecting money or um, joining with others to uh, to put your to put your talents and efforts to good use and to a good cause. Uh, what else is going on for you here? Oh, yes. And then uh, at the end of July, Venus enters your earned income sector on the 31st. More money-making opportunities. July looks pretty good for you, Gemini, when it comes to money. So August for you, Gemini, uh, lunar eclipse on the 7th brings uh, the close to an adventure. Um, you could come home from a trip or some sort of um, course or uh type of study or class that you've done, maybe even publish an article um, around the lunar eclipse on August 7th. And uh, on the 12th of August, Mercury, your ruling planet, goes retrograde. So just be aware that uh, there might be some confusion there when it comes to uh, letting others know how you feel. And then on August 21st, you've got a stimulating solar eclipse. So it's all good for you, Gemini. We're going to take a short break. After the break, I will continue. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Om Times. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit humanityhealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Elito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. Hi, this is John Androsik of Five for Fighting, here for RAD, the entertainment industry's voice for road safety. You know, style is a personal thing, and your lifestyle is your business. But if you take it on the road, it becomes everybody's business. So please, plan ahead, designate before you celebrate. Friends, don't let friends drive drunk. A public service announcement brought to you by RAD, the National Association of Broadcasters, and the Ad Council. Hi there, and welcome back to The Astrology Show. I'm your host and astrologer, Kelly Fox, giving you your summer forecast, or of course, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, your winter forecast. Now, I'm up to Cancer the Crab, and the good news for you is this month, June, uh, Charming Venus is in your social sector, so you should attend as many parties and get together as possible, even though your sign is the sign that has the reputation of liking to be at home. This is not the time to do that. Get out there and uh, socialize. And we just had a full moon, which uh, will focus you on your finances and also uh, wellness, health and wellness. Uh, now is a great time to focus on your health. Uh, also, with Jupiter turning retrograde the other day, uh, that might lift your spirits. Also, the sun moved into your sign, is going to move into your sign on the 20th, uh, which emphasizes you and uh, all eyes will be on you at that time. Um, so it's a great time to assert your desires. Uh, the new moon on June 23rd uh, marks a fresh start for you. So something 
new, whatever that might be. Um, might be a good time to update your wardrobe or even get a haircut, make a change to your appearance. Now, throughout July, beware of pushing a friend or romantic partner or a business associate too far. And that's particularly around the beginning of July when Mars opposes powerful Pluto. Uh, it'll be much better to adopt a gentle approach uh, when it comes to whatever issue you might be dealing with. Uh, and then we have uh, Mercury on the 5th of July moving into your earned income sector. Uh, so this is good news for any sort of commerce or um, finances. And then on July 8th, there's a full moon. Uh, so it's like somebody else's good fortune may rub off on you. Um, so be sure to go out and celebrate a turn of events. Uh, it's a wonderful time as well uh, throughout July uh, for your relationship. Um, but just sort of hold it together, though, around the 17th uh, when Irritable Mars forms a challenging square to abrupt Uranus. Uh, don't make any hasty decisions. Uh, also around July 20th, uh, it's a good time uh, for money or career when Mars enters your earned income sector. Uh, throughout August for Cancer, uh, Uranus goes retrograde on the 2nd, which does uh, stabilise your career prospects uh, a lot more than what may have been the past few months. Uh, be careful on the 4th when we have a square between Jupiter and Pluto, uh, which uh, you might be chasing something that's not really there. And then, of course, the lunar eclipse, which is the big news of the season, um, could bring focus to a joint financial agreement or arrangement. Uh, might even have something to do with a legal settlement, settlement or insurance payout. Uh, and then finally, uh, at the end of August, we've got a solar eclipse on the 21st, uh, which might bring a money-making opportunity for you. <clears throat> And then we move on to Leo, uh, the summer forecast or winter forecast, depending on where you are in the world. The summer forecast for Leo uh, for June. Uh, so June, the summer season gets off to a sparkling start when the sun had formed a trine to Jupiter on the third. So uh, beginning of June and even up through now, it's a great time to focus on your goals and what you want um, during this month. Uh, also, uh, Venus is now in your professional sector, helping you make a good impression on your superiors or your peers or your clients. Uh, and also Mercury, com communicative. Mercury is in your friendship sector, um, so it's a good time to connect with others and network. Now, the full moon we just had uh, a few days ago uh, could bring a creative job to completion. Uh, so this is good news. And any sort of uh, skills you want to enhance, it's a great time to do so because Jupiter uh, just turned direct. Uh, so take this opportunity to develop any sort of talent. Uh, on the 16th, uh, Neptune goes retrograde, making it a good time to clear up any financial misunderstandings. And then uh, throughout July... Uh, Venus will be in your social sector from the 4th on throughout July, making it a great time to attend any sort of summer barbecues or parties. Uh, but just be sure throughout July to join groups and make friends and just be your lovely extroverted self. And I know not all Leos are extroverted, <laughs> but, uh, you know, what, what's that saying? Um, fake it till you make it, something like that. So uh, on July 5th, intelligent Mercury enters your sign. So it will be easier to get an audience for bold ideas, Leo. Uh, but just be careful you don't take it too far because there's a challenging aspect between the Sun, Jupiter and Neptune. So try not to exaggerate too much. The full moon on July 8th brings a demanding job to a close. Uh, and it will be a relief, most probably. Uh, and make sure you take some time off throughout July as well, especially around the 9th when there's an opposition between the Sun and Pluto. Uh, and then in August, uh, let's see, 
oh, rebellious Uranus goes retrograde in your adventure sector. Uh, so it's a fantastic time to take some time off uh, and do something that you normally wouldn't do. A lunar eclipse on the 7th marks uh, something about a partnership or a relationship. Something changes for all you lions out there uh, on the lunar eclipse on August 7th. And then on the 12th, Mercury goes retrograde boo, uh, in your financial sector. So just be careful with money uh, throughout August. And finally, the solar eclipse on the 21st uh, is a fantastic time for the lion to adopt a new image. So if you've been thinking about updating your look, uh, the end of August is definitely a time to do that. Now, if you're a Virgo, 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 your summer forecast, well, let me see here. So at the moment, Mars is in your friendship sector. So uh, be sure to be social. Uh, you've got the stars aligned for you to get out there and pursue romantic interests, initiate conversations, basically just have a good time. Uh, also, at this time, you've got uh, Venus in your travel sector. He's hoping you're taking some time off at this time. Uh, make the most of it. And the full moon we just had uh, a few days ago uh, might hi might have highlighted some painful family situations. Um, but, you know, keep on keeping on. Uh, and, you know, Jupiter just uh, turned direct on that same day, so there is a shift between uh, home and career at this time. Uh, the sun moves into your friendship sector on June 20th, uh, so which emphasises the importance of close bonds. So lean on your friends if you need to. Throughout July, uh, well, at the start of it, all eyes will be on you, thanks to Venus entering your public sector on the 4th. Um, they'll love you at work. Your colleagues will look up to you. Your boss will praise you. Uh, so don't be surprised if you're asked to be a spokesperson for your employer or somebody else. Also during July, uh, the full moon on the 8th could be a turning point uh, in your love life. It's a great time to get engaged or married. And um, what else have we got going on? Virgo in July, outgoing Mars enters your seclusion sector on the 20th. It's a time to really uh, turn your energy inward and to spiritual matters. Um, and the new moon on the 23rd uh, also emphasises this as well. So towards the end of July, um, it's not all materialism. There's other things to life. And for you, Virgo, in August, um, be careful of the uh, square between Jupiter and Pluto on the 4th. Uh, it does affect your bank balance. So take care with that. The lunar eclipse on the 7th, um, might mark the end of a health concern and definitely celebrate this victory. Do something for yourself because you're always doing things for everyone else. Uh, and then, of course, uh, on the 12th of August, Mercury, your ruling planet, turns retrograde in your sign, so be careful with what you say. Libra, June, your June forecast. Well, um, Venus, your ruling planet, is in your intimacy sector. This is the time to get close with the one you love. Uh, and then the full moon we just had uh, a few days ago might have reminded you that some responsibilities have fallen through the cracks. Uh, this month on the 20th uh, highlights your career, uh, attracting job opportunities you want. Uh, and the new moon on the 23rd uh, helps as well. In July, Venus, your ruling planet, enters your adventure sector. So this is a great time throughout July to take a lovely long-distance trip. Be sure to make the most of this beautiful weather. And then on the 5th of July, Mercury is in your social sector where it's easy to make friends, connect with others. Uh, and then on the 8th, the full moon on the 8th of July, uh, domestic matters might need your attention. Uh, let, me, let me see here. Oh, the new moon on July 23rd might inspire you to throw a party for friends who are getting married or having a baby. It's all about uh, connecting and networking throughout July, that's for sure. Uh, but Venus does move into your career sector on the 31st of July prompting you to pursue a rewarding assignment or find a more fulfilling job. And then in August, for you, Libra, 
uh, your personal life gains stability uh, around the second when Uranus um, Uranus changes direction, so it's sort of like uh, your personal life versus your uh, love life versus your business life. Um, there's a lot more stability to be had at this time when it's early August. And then um, the lunar eclipse on the 7th of August, uh, you might get the recognition that you deserve for the hard work you have put in. And of course, as I've been warning, every sign so far, the 12th, uh, Mercury turns retrograde the 12th of August. Uh, prompting you to maybe reconsider your uh, spiritual beliefs and philosophies in life. And so the 21st, to wrap up the uh, summer season, August 21st, we've got a solar eclipse. Uh, might put you in touch with creative, glamorous people. Scorpio, your summer forecast. Well, let me see here. We're in June. Um, the full moon a few days ago might have prompted you to make some sort of moral choice. Um, whatever that might be, professional, personal life, uh, it's important that you take the high road. And on that note, we're going to take a short break, so stay tuned. Real Conscious Connection, Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Om Times Radio's What Is Going On show. If you've been on a spiritual journey and know yourself to be more than just your body, mind and emotions, yet still struggle to fully love yourself and the life you're living, if you experience childhood challenges that continue to play out as limiting patterns in your daily life, if you long for success in your relationships and career, but keep finding it eludes you. I invite you to join me on the free Journey Back to Love Symposium that I'm co-hosting June 18th to 24th. You'll get valuable insights, tools, practical processes and gifts from eight internationally renowned teachers and speakers that would not only dramatically shift your perceptions about love, but also help you understand and integrate all those places where you may have secretly believed that you were broken. So if you're ready to transform your beliefs about love, success and freedom and finally put all your perceived limitations, fears and failures in your relationships and life behind you, visit thejourneybacktolove.com and join me on this free life transforming journey back to love. I look forward to seeing you there. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcotte, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners and give a message from spirit about the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, Join Carrie each Monday at 3 p.m. on Vibe Nation Radio. This is a test to find out if you know it all when it comes to children. Name one of the leading killers of U.S. children age 1 to 13. What's the best way to protect children in a car crash? At what age and size should a child start using a booster seat? Don't assume you know it all when it comes to car seats for your child. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat and know for sure. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Hi there. Welcome back to the Astrology Show. I'm your host and astrologer, Kelly Fox, giving you your summer forecast or winter, depending on where you are. Uh, Scorpio, so for you, I just covered June, but now July for you, well, July gets off to a very passionate start, and that's thanks to romantic Venus entering your intimacy sector on the 4th. So be sure to spend some quality time with someone who makes your pulse pound throughout July. Uh, the full moon on the 8th of July uh, may deliver news that totally changes your outlook in life. Wow, we. But on the 9th, let me just double check this. On the 9th, yes, 
Uh, be very careful about uh, mocking and authority, July 9th, because of the opposition between the sun and Pluto, your ruling planet uh, might backfire on you. <laughs> Excuse me. An exciting professional opportunity uh, might arrive on July 20th, and that's when Dynamic Mars enters your career sector. Uh, throughout August uh, the 4th, again, just be careful when uh, excessive Jupiter squares Pluto, your ruling planet. Um, some people might be over the top with criticisms and complaints, but try not to take that too personally. Uh, the lunar eclipse on the 7th, uh, be careful about confronting someone who has caused you pain. Um, but don't be afraid, on the other hand, to break off a relationship that makes you upset. Uh, and then also the warning for August, Mercury goes retrograde on the 12th. Um, so you might have to um, whittle down your time on social media. And finally, the solar eclipse on the 21st uh, might attract an exciting professional opportunity so be ready to accept a prominent role at a glamorous company, Scorpio. You'll fit right in. Oh, and of course, the sun moves into your social sector on the 22nd of August, making you the life of the party. Sagittarius, uh, your summer forecast slash winter forecast. Uh, let me see. So Mars is currently in your intimacy sector this month. Uh, and so keeping your needs under wraps might create some resentment, uh, but in some ways you need to weigh up the consequences here. Also, uh, Charming Venus is in your work sector, uh, so there might be some pleasant changes at your place of business. Uh, and then Mercury is in your partnership sector, helping you to form a stimulating business alliance. Uh, the full moon we just had uh, was in your sign. Uh, there might be some uh, personal responsibilities that are weighing heavily, uh, but don't let that take a toll on your health. Uh, be kind to yourself. Take a few days off if you can, um, because the good news is that Jupiter, your ruling planet, is now moving forward in your social sector. So a friend may be able to help you in some way. Also uh, this month, the sun enters your intimacy sector, uh, so it uh, heightens your powers of intuition. Throughout July, for you, uh, the uh, opening days of July, um, somebody might need your help who you're close to, uh, and uh, there'll be a lot of love between you and this person you are close to. Uh, make sure you give the time, the time that is needed for your very personal relationships. Uh, the full moon on July 8th brings a big payment, potentially. Uh, so use this money to pay off a debt and not go on a financial spending spree, Sagittarius. Uh, and a trine between Venus and Jupiter on the 18th is perfect for any sort of romantic venture. Uh, if you're single, ask someone out on a date. Uh, and July 20th, energetic Mars moves into your adventure sector, and that's one of your favourite words, adventure. Uh, so it's time to take a bold risk or go to a faraway place. Throughout August for you, Sagittarius, uh, Uranus goes direct on the 2nd, bringing peace and stability uh, to your love life. I mean, excuse me, it goes retrograde. Uh, and it's something about freedom for you, Sag, uh, another key word. And also on the 7th of August, a lunar eclipse, a lunar eclipse delivers important information. So keep your eye out for that. Capricorn, so for you, your summer forecast. Uh, so we've just had, uh, let me see, we just had a full moon. Uh, so that's passed. And an opposition between the willful sun and restricted Saturn on the 15th of June, which is now, um, warns against rubbing people the wrong way, which is unlike you, Capricorn. Uh, let's move right along to July. Venus will be in your work sector throughout July, uh, helping to attract lucrative jobs. So if you're looking to make a change, July will be the time to do it when everybody else is goofing off for the summer. You will be getting down to business. Uh, also, Mercury will be in your 
finance sector on the 5th through July onwards. So it's a great time for any sort of bill paying. Uh, and the, eight, the full moon on July 8th marks a turning point in your personal life. You might leave a job, uh, reach a fitness goal or finalise some sort of deal. It's going to be a milestone around the full moon July 8th. Uh, also, Mars moves into your intimacy sector on the 20th of July. Um, let down your defences with a trustworthy loved one at this time. And also, just to end July, we have uh, Venus, love planet Venus, moving into your partnership sector on the 31st, uh, which is great for single or coupled goats. Uh, Capricorn for August. Uh, looking after uh, a family member will be important at the beginning of August. Uh, also at the beginning of August, around the 4th, uh, Jupiter squares Pluto. Don't press your luck at the beginning of August. Uh, something might backfire. And then the lunar eclipse on the 7th uh, might bring an end to a source of income, uh, but it will leave the way for bigger and better career opportunities. Uh, be careful with Mercury turning retrograde August 12th. And um, the sun will enter your adventure sector on August 22nd. Uh, it's a great time to explore unknown territory, whatever that may be for you. Moving right along, Aquarius, uh, your summer slash winter forecast. Uh, so Venus is currently in your domestic sector. This is a wonderful time to focus on your home and family and moving and renovating and redecorating and just just, just quality time with your family, really, um, at this time. Also, Mercury, uh, communication planet Mercury, is in your romance sector at this time. So this is a great time to really let someone know how you feel uh, and if you're in a serious relationship, take this opportunity to write a heartfelt love letter to your partner. Uh, the full moon we just had uh, might might have marked a turning point uh, with an alliance. Uh, you might have decided or are still deciding to leave a group that no longer serves your needs. Uh, also, uh, 23rd of this month, we have a new moon. Uh, this is a great time to take care of others. So for you, Aquarius, throughout July, uh, it's going to get off to a, rom a romantic start when Venus begins its tour of your romance sector. Lucky you. Uh, if you're single, you could meet somebody at that time. Uh, but also just be careful because men uh, mental Mercury forms a square to Uranus, your ruling planet. Try not to be too brutally frank with a colleague. Um, also in July, uh, great time around the 23rd of July for romance, thanks to the new moon rising in your partnership sector. So in August, the big news for you is the uh, lunar eclipse on the 7th. Um, really, it's an interesting time for you, Aquarius, because this uh, lunar eclipse is in your own sign. So it's going to be very, very, a very intense time when it comes to relationships, particularly personal, but could be business as well. Uh, also on the 12th of August, Mercury goes retrograde. Uh, we've got the solar eclipse on the 21st, uh, which is marking another exciting turning point in your love life. For you, Aquarius, August is all about your love life. And finally, Pisces. Sweet, sweet Pisces, your summer slash winter forecast. Let me see here. So at the moment, we've got Venus uh, is in your communication sector. Uh, so your words, your words are like poetry at this time. Uh, make the most of it. Um, also, Mercury is in your domestic sector. It's a good time to mend broken fences with relatives um, or even negotiate the terms of a real estate deal. Uh, with Mercury in your fourth house. Uh, the full moon uh, recently might have um, triggered some uh, career commitments. Uh, be careful your boss doesn't take advantage of your kind heart working overtime. And um, Nep Neptune, your ruling planet, goes retrograde in your sign uh, tomorrow. <laughs> And um, so it might force you to take a more of a practical look this season. Now, for July for you, Pisces, um, Venus is in your domestic sector uh, throughout July. 
So it, uh, it might prompt you to spend more time puttering around the house or making things more beautiful. Uh, and then on the 5th of July, we've got Mercury in your work sector. It's a great time to focus on work throughout July uh, and speak up and you will be heard. It's also a great time for um, health and focusing on diet and fitness and taking care of yourself. And of course, in August, we've got uh, Uranus triggering your finances. So it's all about money and things will become more stable. Uh, and that's it for my summer forecast for each of the signs. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to know more, go to my website, theastrologer.com, and uh, you can see all the forecasts there. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week.